What's going on guys? Thank you for being here and checking out another one of our videos. Um, in this one today, I'm going to be doing a comparison of the noise suppression within Zoom and the noise suppression within Crisp. Um, specifically, the intermittent and persistent noise suppression features within Zoom and how they compare to Crisp. So, the first thing we need to do is come over to Zoom and click on the settings, come over to audio, and then come down to advanced. And then this is where you're going to make your adjustments. So as you see, there's a few options, auto, moderate, and aggressive. And today we're just going to focus on the moderate and aggressive aspects of that. So I'm gonna start here and we'll get right to it. All right guys, so now that we've got our Zoom meeting going, the first thing we're gonna do is the persistent noise test. Um, and before we turn any of the suppression on, we are gonna do a baseline test. So for this test, I've decided to go with an electric razor uh, because it's not super loud as you can hear, uh, but it's certainly something that would be loud enough to cause annoyance um, if you are on a call. Um, and this could obviously be any kind of fan, or dryer or anything like that that might be happening during your call. So that is the baseline. So now we'll come up to Zoom, come over to Audio and Advanced. And one thing I wanna actually point out before I get into this is that you, to make sure that you have the crisp microphone selected since this is the test that we're going to be, be doing. Um, and I mentioned that because I often forget to do that. So just make sure crisp is selected and then you'll come to Advanced and we are going to do the persistent background noise. And the first one is the moderate test. So we have that selected and now we will turn our razor back on and that's what it sounds like with the uh, uh, zoom moderate noise suppression going. Um, again, not super loud, but would certainly be something that could cause um, an annoyance and certainly a distraction during your call and it could be any kind of hum or fan or something of that nature. So that is with the zoom uh, noise suppression on. So now we will turn that off. It's disabled, great. And we'll leave that off and we will come up to crisp. And before I turn crisp on, I'm going to turn this on so you can hear the difference with it uh, going. So this is going now and now I'll come up here. Really simple, one step, remove noise and there we go. So. Um, again, this is with the crisp microphone turned on. Um, can, can't, you know, see this really going, but um, <laughs> there it is. So um, once more, any kind of kind of consistent, just bothersome noise. It's not crazy loud, but certainly would be a distraction. So that is what it sounds like with the crisp turned on. All right, guys, so the next one we're gonna do within the persistent noise category is the aggressive noise suppression. And uh, once more, we're gonna do a baseline test, and this time, going to use a hairdryer because this thing can get pretty loud, as you can hear right now. Uh, also, making it difficult to see when it's blowing right at you, but I wanted you to be able to see that it is on, for sure, um, and, and very, very loud. Um, so that is the baseline test, and, and once more, we'll come up to Zoom. Chris to audio, and now uh, we will make this the aggressive setting. So now we have the aggressive setting turned on. Boom, turn the hair dryer back on, and, uh, and give this another go. Um, so again, you know, I think this one is probably more common, and I'm gonna turn it off now. Um, something that you would experience, you know, now that everybody's working at home. Um, with a roommate or a spouse or, or whoever. Um, and um, so, certainly something that I think uh, is definitely not uncommon these days. So we will turn that off and we will come up to crisp. And again, just like last time before I turn it on, uh, turn crisp on, I'm going to turn the dryer back on. And so that's going nice and loud right in my face. And now we have the delay depression turned on crisp. So we can hear that difference. Um, with uh, the crisp noise suppression turned on. I'm gonna turn this off now, and because um, I can barely hear myself. Um, but that is the crisp test. And again, this doesn't have to be a hairdryer, it could be a vacuum, um, could be just, uh, yeah, if you happen to have a, another like loud fan, uh, I have a space heater that I would use in the winter that would be quite loud. Um, so anything like that, 
And that's why we turned the aggressive filter on and wanted to do that comparison. All right, guys, moving on, we are going to head into the intermittent noise suppression. And that would be anything that you just don't expect to happen during your call. Uh, door closing, doorbell, something dropping, uh, kids coming in and just interrupting things, um, maybe a dog barking, any of those kind of things. Um, that is what we are going to be testing. So for this first one, I decided to, uh, since I can't get up and close a door or ring a doorbell, I decided to use a little water bottle and a little little ping, a little ping on the water bottle with a knife just to give that kind of metallic sound um, that you might get with um, whether it's a door, doorbell, just anything. Maybe you have a kid that loves a cowbell. I don't know, but that is the baseline test. So coming up to Zoom, coming over the audio, advanced, and now the intermittent noise. Let's get the moderate test going here. And this is what it sounds like with the moderate uh, intermittent noise suppression on and uh, a little, little ping of the water bottle uh, for this example. Cool. So turning that off, we'll come up to Chris. I'm going to turn Chris on immediately this time because uh, I cannot do both of these things at once. So remove noise. Yes. Here we go. This is the Chris test now with Chris turned on using Zoom and a little... Uh, a little pinging of the water bottle, could be doorbell, could be cowbell. I don't know, whatever might be going on in your house or the space that you're working, but that is that intermittent sound that you may not be expecting while you're talking and it just kind of comes out of nowhere. So there we go. All right guys, for the last test uh, I am going to do with the intermittent noise, um, I was trying to think of what to do that would be loud enough and I came to the conclusion that my clap is pretty loud. So I got a pretty loud clap going. So that's what we're going to use for this one. I'm going to just keep talking and have a little clap because it's pretty significantly loud. Um, and that is the baseline test, no noise suppression on. So we will come up into Zoom. I've already got the settings open still and hit aggressive. And here we go with a little clapping going on. Um, again, if this is a door shutting, I think that would be one of the more like accurate, consistent things here, what well, could be a, a door or a microwave door or whatever it might be. Um, you drop something, your kids come in with a ball, whatever it is, but that is the intermittent aggressive setting in Zoom. So turning that off now, and we will come up to Chris. Again, I'm going to turn it on right away because we cannot do both at once. There we go. Zoom is turned on, and that is what we got going on for this sound. So again, pretty loud clapping. Um, and who knows, maybe your kids are in a clapping phase. I don't know. But this would be something that uh, would certainly disrupt any kind of meeting. And so there we go. All right, guys, that will do it for this noise suppression test. Thank you so much for coming to check it out. Um, if you have any thoughts or questions, please let us know in the comments below. And if you have any extra time, please give some of our other videos a look. And as always, please take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll see you on the next one.